Hello everyone, welcome to Zip3D YouTube Live. Thank you for joining us today. I'm your host, Victoria, and this is the second day of the Zip3D 2020 YouTube Live. In Zip3D 2020, there are many new functions worth your trying, especially in Mo module. So today we are going to share with you with some performances and the new functions about the Zip3D 2020 Mo module. And I would like to invite Craig Chain, our Mo experts with multiple years experiences in injection mode design. He is also the member who designed the Mo functions in Zip3D 2020. Okay, now let's welcome Chris Chain. Hello, everyone. Hello, Victoria. Hi, Chris. So before your presentation, could you please introduce yourself to us? Okay. Uh, hello, I'm Chris Chen from ZDRSoft technical team. I've been working in ZDRSoft for four years. And one of my daily job is to do some research on the mode module and also the mode market. Also, I will keep my eye on the advanced molding technology. Thank you, Chris. So what are you going to share with us today? Today, I'm going to share the mode workflow to show the improvements in ZW3D 2020. Hey, Chris, I know you designed the functions in ZIP3D 2020 mode module. So what functions do you think are more important for our users? Actually, I think all the functions are very important. But if I have to choose one, I would like to recommend you the detailed design features like the groove, runner and gate, and cooling loop. Thank you, Chris. I do agree with your ideas. If we can speed up the detailed design in Mo module, we must can largely increase the efficiency of our work. So, zip 3 d must be very good and packed with the functions you mentioned about. So, I'm so looking forward to your sharing today. My dear users, in our live streaming, we will have abundant gift for you besides the presentation. So, for the participants who engage with us, we will pick from them and let them win the big prizes. Okay, now I will hand the platform to Chris and let him start his sharing about the mode module. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you here. And today I'm going to talk about the mode improvements in ZW3D 2020. And uh, if you have ever browsed our official website, you may have noticed that ZW3D have been improved a lot in the mode module. And we improve some new uh, some commands and develop a lot of new functions in the mode design in this version. And as a result, the mode design Workflow, not only the parting design, but also the assembly design, the auto mode drafting will be more professional and practical. Okay, let's see in the details now. So at the beginning, I deny to let you have a general idea of the highlights in ZW3D 2020 mode. First of all, is the product verification before the mode design. It can help you quickly check if the uh, product is suitable for the mode design or not. You can create the mode project so that you can start your mode design by following the project step by step. And after that, the quick vision analysis tool can help you quickly define the regions for the cavity and core. And ZR3D also offers the powerful tools for the putting surface. It offers two ways for users to, to pick. The first one is the auto putting surface. Uh, and the second one is the manual putting surface. And what's more, 
the detailed design features like the runner, cooling, gate, groove, slider, or lift can be easily added in this version. For the mode assembly design, ZM3D offers the expandable standard part library, which means that users can customize their own standard part library according to the uh, rule of ZM3D. Finally, after finishing the assembly design, you can make auto mode drafting for every component in the assembly. Okay, now let's see these features or functions in details. Product verification. Zedos 3D have the product alignment to help users to correct the product position and direction before the mode parting. And it also offers a lot of analysis tools like the thickness, draft angle, and undercut. Okay, let's directly go to the software to see how they work in the software. When we import the product from external part, you can use the align to pick the parting direction and also the side parting direction. You can define the Z0 point for the uh, product position. Okay, after confirm, you have already finished the correct now you can start the analysis, like the thickness, and set the maximum of the thickness analysis. And after that, start analyze. So it is rendering, right? After finishing that, you can use the real-time browser to check the thickness over the product. And for this area, you can see the thickness is special. So we can check it clearly. On the upper side, there is a rib. So there is no problem in this area. OK, that's the thickness analysis. Now let's try the draft angle analysis and set the angle limitation you can see the preview of the product. To see more detail, you can change it to the rainbow color. Also, browse the job angle of the product. And you can recall this result. After that, let's detect the undercut area. In this command, it will auto recognize the undercut area for you. So you need to add the structures like the slider or the lift here. Okay, that's all for the analysis. In fact, in Zestrus 3D, besides this analysis tool, Zestrus 3D offers the direct edit tools or the healing tools to help you for the product verification. So let's continue to the next part. When you try to start the mode design, you can create a mode project firstly. In this version, Zedder 3D offers a lot of parameters in the mode project manager such as materials, shrink, and also the folder to store the project. In the project, you can define the layout quickly and load different models from external. And this layout and the model can be redefined. 
after finishing the project creation, you can start to analyze the regions for different products. Zetum 3D offers the one-click calculation for the region recognized. It can calculate most of the phases to the core or cavity. And also you will list the undivided phases. So you can divide them into core or cavity region. And after that, if there is some no adjacent regions, you can also customize, uh, you can also check them and assign them to core or cavity. Based on the result of this region analysis, you can uh, quickly create the region definition. About the parting surface, data 3 d offers two methods to create a parting surface based on the parting line. The first one is the auto parting surface. It will recognize the outer loop or the parting line, so it will generate the whole parting surface for this loop. And after that, you can also make some modification uh, or delete some parting phase, then use the manual way to create a parting surface by different segments. Okay, let's see how they work in ZO3D. First, we still continue from this product. Now we can create a project and name the project. And there are a lot of the materials. And you can pick one of them. The string will automatically pick. Also, you can define a folder to store the project. Okay, now after that, the project has already created. You can define the layout for the cavities. For example, in this case, I set two cavities and the spacing of each cavities. Now, they will be marked as the datum for the position. After that, you can load different model. For example, the first one, I load the left cover and pick the first data. Okay, and you can load different products for different character. It is very flexible. And now the layout and the product for the cavity have already finished. Of course, you can redefine it if you want to change something. After that, you can have the analysis for the regions. Now you can see the undivided phase. You can assign them to core or KOT. And for the vertical phase, of course, to the cavity. What's more, if you find that there is some no adjacent region, it will show in the list. In this way, you can ensure that the region analysis result is correct for your parting. After that, you can define the regions based on this result. You can create the region surface and the parting line. Based on this new created parting line, you can use the auto parting surface. So you can see the preview, it, it is quite efficient. So if you find some parting phase is not so good, you can remove some of them. And after that, you can use the segment parting phase 
create some guideline for the direction of the parting face. And the guideline also will separate the parting line into different segments. So as you finish the guideline, the parting line have separated in different segments. You can create parting face for this segment. And after that, to ensure there is no gap between parting face, you can sort all the parting face together. Now, I've already finished. You can switch to another product and repeat the same operations. Here, we will skip this part because they are the same, right? And now, we can combine these two cavity together. We move the overlap between parting surface. For example, the first one and the second one. Now, as you can see, there is, there is no overlap. So we can create a workpiece. Finally, we will use the parting surface and the region surface to change the workpiece so that we can easily get the core and cavity. And after that, the core and cavity will be assigned to different components in the project. Up to now, we have already finished the mode project and parting design. It is very efficient and you, as you can see, there are a lot of functions about them. So uh, up to now, we can, maybe we can have a rest for the first lucky draw. Hello, Victoria. Hi, Chris. Okay, now it's our first round of the lucky draw. During our presentation, we will have three rounds of our lucky draw and we'll pick the winners from the active participants. So now let's begin our first round of lucky draw. And today's gift in this round is three months license for Deep 3D 2020 Professional. Okay, Deep 3D Professional covers the full cat functions, full design functions, and lacto functions. I hope the new tool can be a good help for the new year. So now let's begin, okay? Okay. Let's see who is the first lucky guy. Okay, let's see. Okay, the first lucky guy was well, it's, it's so fun. Our first lucky guy is the luckiest guy today. Congratulations! Congratulations! Okay, the second one. Let's see the second one. Okay, who's okay. the second one? The second lucky guy is Novak Dodo Kovic. Okay, congratulations to Novak. Okay, third one. Okay, who's the third lucky guy? Tony, you win the prize again. Tony, I am. Congratulations. Boss. Okay, it's Osas, our African friends. Congratulations! Okay. Congratulations to you. Okay, the number five. The last one. The last the one. Let's see who's the last lucky guy. Congratulations! Congratulations to you! Congratulations to all our winners and we will contact you later and send you the gift in a week. And for those users who didn't win the prize, don't worry, we still have two rounds of lucky draw. 
So please stay tuned. Okay, now let's welcome Chris to continue his sharing. Okay, after finishing the exciting lucky draw uh, section, right? Let's back to the mode functions. After finishing the mode uh, parting design, now next we will talk about the detailed design features. In Z3D, we have improved a lot for the runner, gate, and the cooling loop design. First is the runner. In the new version, you can create a runner and make the projection on the surface. It means that this runner function will be more flexible than ever. And with the guide, uh, with the gate preview, you can create the gate to a right position and in a suitable size. What's more? For the cooling loop, now Z3D offers a dynamic cooling loop, which makes you finish the cooling loop, insert mode components, and also the pocket in the same command. So this indeed speed up your design for the detailed design. Let's image that uh, in the previous version, you need to create a sketch and the loop and then combine with the core or cavity and then insert the components. It is too complicated, right? But now you can finish all of them in one command. Okay, that's the cooling loop. Besides these improvements, Z3D have developed a, some new functions for the detailed design. Z3D offers a smart table lock for the cavity and core so that they can match easily together. We offer two types of the table lock, at the corner or in the middle. Z3D also offers the groove to create the groove between the core and the mode base. And we also offer different types of the group, the circle, the radio, and the chamfer. Okay, let's continue with the last project to show the details. Let's go back to the assembly and uh, now hide the cavity. We can create a runner based on the sketch. With the sketch, you can define the layout of the runner. For instance, here we just made the simple layout for the runner. And now go back here to pick the faces for the projection. And there are different sections of the runner. You can change some of them and select the core as the intersection. I see, finish. The runner and the pocket for the runner have already created. After that, you can create a gate at the end of the runner. Now just pick the end and change the parameters for the gate. As you can see, that's already finished. And we can repick it again on the other side and select the same face. It will auto recognize the part, uh, parameters we picked before. So we can directly click OK to finish. After that, let's use the table lock between the core and cavity. You can see there are two types of the core and cavity, and you can change the parameters with the preview of the block at the corner. And after that, you 
we can confer the result and check the results in the uh, working area. Now the table log have already finished. It is efficient. And after that, before we make more detailed design, we just insert the mode, mode base. Okay, in Z3D, we offer a lot of mode base from different supplier. For example, the Haskell or DME and so on. And you can pick the series and change some parameters to refresh the preview. In the preview, you can check if the mode base in if the mode base in the suitable site or not. Okay, now we confirm the result, and after that, we can continue to design our detailed design features. Let's hide the fixed half, and now we can create a group between the core and the play B. And you, as you can see, there are different types of the relief. The chamfer, the radial, and the circle. After that, now fit have already finished. And of course, you can repeat the same operation on the fixed half. Now we repeat it and pick the cavity as an inner and the play A. Now finish. Okay, let's show all the show the move half again and create the cooling loop. And you can select one or two of just to create a cooling loop. And you all you need to do is just picking some points for the layout of the cooling loop. As you can see in the preview, you can define the points or uh, di di directly, or you can input the points per section. That's no problem. So in the preview, you can see now the cooling have already finished, and you can make some adjustment, like change the height of different level of the cooling loop. And also you can change the diameter of the cooling loop. Finally, you can add the components of supplier, like the drawing, oil ring, or the project. Let's see the result. And the pocket have already been here. And let's go to the cooling component to see. It have already created a lot of uh, shape and component inside this. Okay. That's all for the introduction for the runner, gate, and the groove, and also the cooling loop. In fact, besides this, Zero3D also offers more detailed design features, like the slider tip and the lifter. Okay, that's all for the detailed design. And now let's just have a relaxing time again for the sec for the second lucky job. Victoria. Hi, Chris. Nice sharing. Okay, now how time flies. So now we are in the second round of lucky draw. And in this round, we will pick three winners to win six months license of Deep 3D 2020 Professional. Okay, I believe that a six month license can support our lucky users to handle so many projects. Okay, now let's begin to pick the lucky users in this round, okay? Okay. So, who is the first one? Let's max them first. Okay. okay. And let me see who's the next lucky guy. 
for this prize. Magnus Gustavsson, congratulations! Congratulations! And now the second one. Okay, the second one. Alexander of Alexander. Alexander. You are very active tonight. Okay, the final one? The final one. Oh, oh, our new participant, Photo Congratulations! Congratulations to you all. Well, congratulations to all of you for being our six months license of the C3D 2020 professional just now. So we will contact you later and send you the gift in a week. Okay, for those who didn't win the big prize, don't worry, we still have the last round of the lucky draw. Please stay tuned with us. So now let's welcome Chris to continue his sharing. Let's welcome. Okay. Hello everyone. Time runs fast, right? And we just come to the final segment of the functions in JWS reading mode. And just now we have already finished the mode verification and parting design, detail design. And next we will talk about the mode assembly design, especially the standard part library and the auto mode drafting. In ZF3D, really, uh, we, we offer not only the standard part library like the uh, DME, Haskell, or Futaba, or Misumi. We also offer the user defined mode base, which means that users can create their own library based on this user defined mode base. And also, we offer some smart commands for the in component insert, like the screw, eject pin, location win, stop pillar, stop ring, and spring, and so on. And these smart commands will help users to insert the components very quickly. It will auto recognize some position or the location plane, so that when the user insert the components, they can reduce a lot of click. Okay, that's for the standard part library. After finishing the mode assembly design and the uh, standard part insert, finally, we offer the amazing function the auto mode drafting. Setup 3D auto mode drafting can recognize the mode time automatically, like the play, eject pin, slider, cavity and core, and some other parts. You can also define different draft template for different mode times. What's more, users can decide if they create the auto dimension when they create the drafting. Okay, let's go to the software to continue this case to finish our motor assembly design. Firstly, let's try to insert the eject pin. We still use the sketch to define the layout of the eject pin. For instance, here we just pick some points as the location of the eject pin. And after that, when we insert the eject pin, it will auto recognize the core and the location plane. We just select the sketch as the layout and change the diameter of the eject pin, the lens. Okay, now all the eject pin has been inserted here. And after that, we can make 
the chain for the ejector pin. You can insert the chain face as the tool to chain the ejector pin. Let's see how it works. Here is the function chain pin. We can pick all of the ejector pin and then the surface as the cutter. After that, let's hide the chain cutter to check the result. Now you can see the pin have already been chained. Besides this, we offer a lot of components like the locating rings. You will recognize the top face of the old motor base. Also, auto created the pocket and screw brush. You will recognize the size of the location ring. So you don't have to change the size. Just click OK to finish. Then we can insert the screw to lock the cavity. And just pick one point to, for this location. And there are patterns of the screw. And as we change the diameter, let's see the results here. And the pocket is also automatically created. Then we can add the positioning. Here we use the side positioning tool. You will recognize the side face of the motor base. And you just change the size of the uh, positioning. OK, let's finish. And finally, the tensioning. Also, it will also recognize the location plane, the side plane and you can change the distance. Now I have already finished. There are more commands like this. So users can reduce a lot of functions, uh, operations here. Now we go to the auto mode job team. And you can uh, check the mode types like the play and the ejector pin and some others. Also, you can define different templates for the different mode time, like the ejector pin or core or KVT. And after that, you can decide to add the auto dimension or not. Now, in a second, the auto drafting have already finished for all of the components. Here we can see the ejector pin and go back to the room manager. You can see more drawing. For example, this is for the drawing for the play. And as you can see, the auto dimension have been added here. And up to now, we have already finished the, all the functions in the mode design and the auto drafting. So let's review them again as a summary. Before we start our mode design, we need some tools to make the product verification. In ZM3D, we offer a lot of tools like the healings, direct edit, alignment, thinness analysis, job angle, and undercut detect. And after that, we can start our mode design by the mode project. In the mode project, you can define some parameters. Also, you can define the layout for the cavities. Besides this, you can load the model, different model from different files. And after that, you can start the parting design. Before you change the part to the core and cavity, you lead to do some region analysis and the parting phase. In the region analysis, ZM3D offers a quick way to calculate the region for the cavity and core. It also al allow you to detect the low adjacent regions so that you can assign them to core and cavity. And based on this result, you can uh, define your regions
after generator generation the region the and the cavity and core and the parting line you can start the uh, you can finish in the part parting design and then start the detailed design features here we offer the runner and gate cooling loop table lock groove and so on and after that we can start the mode assembly design with the powerful expandable standard part library in z 3 d you can decide the uh, you can insert the mode base very easily and of course you can customize your old mode base we have to all, a lot of smart component commands so you can quickly insert thousands or hundreds or thousands components and after finishing the mode assembly design you can create the mode drafting automatically for all of the components in the mode assembly in the auto mode drafting you can recognize the mode time by layer or by the mode timeline the KVT core play and other parts and you can define different template templates for different components and you can also add the auto dimensions or lock when you generating the drawing okay that's the summary summary for this and after that we have already finished all this introduction so let's come to the q and a section so do you have any questions about the mode functions in ZW3D 2020? Oh, I have already correct some from the dialogue you, you asked. Okay, I just picked some of them to answer. And after that, you of course, you can ask more and contact us. We will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay. The first one, could, uh, can I make my own motor standard part library in Z3D? The answer is yes. As I mentioned just now, in Z3D, we offer the way to for users to customize their own standard library. We also offer a detailed menu to guide users how to create their own parting, uh, their own library. Okay, next one is what's the purpose of the function align? Uh, it's a great question. Uh, for the alignment, uh, sometimes uh, before you start the mode design, when you in import the product from external part, the correct uh, the direction and the position may be not suitable for the parting. So we can use the align command to correct the position and the direction. That's, that's the purpose. Okay, the source also, I think the last one. Besides the core and cavity, can you define additional regions? Yes, sure. Besides the core and cavity, when we made the region definition, we can also set more regions beside the core and cavity, like the uh, slider regions. It's okay, there's no problem. Okay, uh, now we have already finished the introduction for the motor function. And, but today is not finished, of course, because we have still have the last lucky draw. Victoria? Hi, Chris. Hey guys, what about trees sharing today? I appreciate this. So I hope you all can got the trees about the Z3D 2020 mode modules. Okay, now we are in the last round of our lucky draw. And in this round, we will pick one winner to win the biggest prize today. That is the 12 month license of Z3D 2020 Professional. 
very long time, right? Okay, right. let's see who is the luckiest guy today. Okay. Shay the boss first. Okay. Okay. Let's see who's my lucky guy. Carefully. Right? Yeah. Let's see. It's a big secret. Wow, wow. amazing. It's Congratulations! And we will contact you later and send you the biggest prize today. So thank you all for joining us today and we will meet you at the same time 6 p.m. in the YouTube channel to share with you the camera. Tomorrow.